How's everybody doing this evening? You know, like Cozy says, there are a lot of new comics, and you know, I'm one of them. So, you know, sometimes when we're coming to the stage as new comics, you know, like right after another comic, it's a little bit intimidating. But this is not a competition. You know, you just do what you're capable of doing. Yeah, that's what my uh, ex fiance always said. <laughs> right after the pool boy left. <laughs> How about this economy? You know, this guy was so bad that I had to move back in with my folks. And well, now the house was really proud because, well, they had to move back in with their folks. <laughs> Thank goodness Grandma was able to pick up that second shift at Walmart. <laughs> now, she greets every customer that comes through the door with a big smile and a warm hello. Well, unless it's family. <laughs> so, just got back from San Diego. You know, there, just, just kicking it. Now, um, that's, and that's what I do. I just travel to different places. You know, sometimes just looking for stuff. Nice restaurants, beautiful women, a job. <laughs> now, who, 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 who's been to San Diego lately? Uh, okay, now, remind me, which side of the border is San Diego on? Because I, I was in a restaurant where I had to get my order translated into Spanish. Now, I mean, I used to like being Hans. <laughs> So, raise your hand if you've had a birthday, like coming up or very recent. Because mine was yesterday. Yeah, so I, I think that means I'm still accepting gifts. Uh, yeah, but it was the big 5-0. Yeah. yeah, believe me, I wish that was the punchline, but yeah, it's true. You know, I mean, getting older sucks. I mean, I appreciate that people say, well, you know, you look younger. You're great. But 50 is still 50. I mean, there used to be a time when if I said, you're not the boss of me, I was probably talking to my older brother. Today, I'm talking to my black <laughs> Last time I tried that, the response was, really? I give you 23 and one half seconds to unlock your front door, turn off the alarm, race your black ass to the nearest toilet, and hope that the seat is already up. <laughs> so here I am, midlife, and still dating. I mean, just, I mean, internet dating, no less. I was with this woman like on the first date a couple of weeks ago, and I told her, hey, hey I'm about 50, uh, never been married, and no kids. So what did she say? Uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, ladies, with all due respect, that's messed up. Why anything gotta be wrong with me? I mean, uh, are men like, Cartons of yogurt, like each one of us with the best if used by date. Because, uh, I mean, if so, you know that, you know, even past that date, well, the product is probably still good. But yeah, girl, but why take the chance? Actually, maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my problem right there. Maybe I'm actually gay. And I don't know. Maybe you gotta come out of the yeah, closet. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, cause um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the only dick I want in my hand is mine. <laughs> uh, and because I live alone, that happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll tell you the truth. I think even he's losing interest in this relationship. <laughs> I, I whipped it out the other night. 
He just looked at me. Oh, it's just you. You bring the lotion? You know, I, I don't really understand what the big deal is about relationships. Why does everybody want to be in a relationship? Because the longer you're in it, the meaner you get toward each other. Like, look at my grandparents. They've been together 55 years and still together. I mean, a really sweet couple. But when my grandma gets mad, she will fix my grandpa his favorite meal. A big plate of barbecue ribs and corn on the cob and hide his dentures. <laughs> you know what the worst part is about being alone? Is shopping at Costco. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I mean, not like you got a choice because they got all those little free food stations. So if you're a single guy, that's the closest you get to a balanced meal. Now, I, I shopped at Costco and uh, I tried the samples and there was some soup. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll take some. Next thing I know, this little old lady comes around the corner with a forklift. I wound up with a pallet full of clam chowder. I mean, the first four days were okay. But after that, I had to get creative. I had to find ways of sharing it. So I got invited to a wedding. You ever tried to gift wrap a six pack of clam chowder? I mean, I thought about just putting it in a basket, you know, with a little cellophane, but hey, that's a wedding present. Why spoil the surprise? Then, uh, this, I was going on a date, and this woman asked me, well, what restaurant are you gonna take me to? Like, well, you know what? How about you just come over to my house and I'll fix your dinner. In fact, I think I'd like to uh, try an old family recipe. Did I tell you my people's from New England? <laughs> then, Halloween. I mean, Halloween came and you know, rather than giving kids all that candy, I gave each child a can of clam chowder. Well, you know, eventually the phone started ringing. All these parents like, it's trick or treat, not a can drive. No, no good deed goes unpunished. So, I've been internet dating. I mean, not like I got a choice. But you know what's really hard about internet dating? Is you gotta fill out a profile and you gotta come up with a screen name. I mean, a screen name. Something that captures the essence of who you are. Uh, loser, looking to get laid. <laughs> Actually, that was already taken. But no, I'm serious. I couldn't think of anything. Then I went to a coffee shop and they had canisters of different flavored coffees. Each one of these canisters had a little descriptive label. And one of the labels said, dark, sophisticated, and exotic. I thought, shit, that's me. So that's why my screen name is French Roast. But you know what? I mean, tell you the truth. I have been back to that same coffee shop every day for the past three months. And I've drinking the same coffee. So right next to the label that says dark, sophisticated, and exotic, there should be another label that says your results may vary. <laughs> what else? I think I'm done. Thank you very much, people.